What's going on everybody? Welcome to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hey. Right now we're episode 7 of our rewatch of Lost. This one is called The Moth. Uh, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you are so inclined. Uh, last episode we um, got into the initial backstory of uh, Sun and Jen. Uh, that one was <laughs> kind of tart, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, their story, you know. Straight pomegranate. Oh, okay. We, that we ended up loving, you know, they we ended up loving those two. Um, yeah, so, the, that was the biggest part of that one. Um, I'm gonna get into this, the moth, because I'm not, I don't remember what this one is about, so, um, I'm eager to get into this one. How about you? Take better pictures than mine. Smaller, too, if you want something for your wallet. I just came by for a few things, and this was... This was with my stuff. I wish I shared your faith. I might share a few things with her myself. <laughs> what do you want, Sawyer? Heard the doctor was vacating the premises. I'll oh, best lay claims to my new digs before somebody else did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Picks this place up real good. Might even find somebody to share it with me. I'll talk to you later. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Ashtray is uh, something else. <laughs> Oh, you better run. Is that you? Heck no! That's not ground. Run, Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, clean shaven. Clean shaven, Charlie. And the meek shall inhabit the earth. Damn. What are you doing, Mr. Judge? What are you doing? Relax, quiet boy. I bring good tidings of great joy. We've just been signed a recording contract. Wow. You're going to be a rock god. Nice work, Charlie. <laughs> you make excellent bait. I'm glad I could oblige. Now give me my bloody drugs. See his eyes? Look at this. <laughs> I'll let you ask me for your drugs three times. The third time, I'm gonna give them to you. Now, just so we're clear, this is one. Why are you doing this? To torture me? Just get rid of them and I'm done with it. If I did that, you wouldn't have a choice, Charlie. And having choices, making decisions based on more than instinct is the only thing that separates you from him. Now, when I'm in position, I'll fire off my rocket. When you two see it, you fire yours. As soon as the last one has gone up, they all switch on our antennas. I get it now. You don't want this island because there's nothing for you to go back for. Nobody you miss. You know what misses you. Oh, you feel I'm sorry for me. I don't feel sorry for you. I pity you. <laughs> all I had to do was say please. Short-handed. Hey, you guys need a hand? I used to log the band's equipment before we had roadies way back in the day. Hey, let me try this. Broken. <laughs> I hope you grab the rest of those bags. Could I? Don't leave room for all that medicine. I don't know. I'm just gonna find out right now. What are you doing? Uh, oh, uh, have a headache. Charlie, leave it. Go get some water. Maybe you're dehydrated. Charlie, I got it. I love the band. It's not who I am. Just promise me one thing. Things get too crazy. No matter what, I say we're done, we walk away. We walk away. Just the eyes, man. Yeah, some really eyes. We walk away. Pearson. You're the rock card, baby brother. Some more girl, is that you two girls? I guess they're all. I'll catch other. How'd you get to? How'd you get to? Ah! What are you shouting? 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 Okay, listen. Hmm? A lot of people look up to me. They respect me. 
And you, Surely. you just treat me like I'm some bloody child, like I'm some useless joke. This is the episode. Charlie's not good enough to do this. Charlie's just in the way. Sit down. Charlie you crashes. No, you're going to look okay. out for me, yeah? We'll look out for each other. That's how Charlie, it is. Just calm down, all right? You're not yourself, right? You don't know me. I'm a bloody rock god. Yes, absolutely. Fun. Come on, grab a couple of guys and uh, let's go. We gotta go now. Go, go. Hey, we have to sell cable, Jack. Sorry, sport, just missed her. Earl Mohammed headed in the woods about 10 minutes ago. Earl what? Earl Mohammed. I know which way they went. <laughs> yeah, but I'll tell her. Just keep doing whatever it is you do. You are very well. Hey, Jack, you should have been here. Hey, you should have been Chill, baby brother. Look, this area here is load bearing. We gotta dig where there's no danger of the wall buckling in on itself. Whoever isn't digging should be clearing the rocks that we pull out, bringing water to who is working, okay? Let's move. Come on and get a plan here. Hey, everybody. I thought they were holding hands. Hey. What the hell are you doing here? Please me. <laughs> Just came to tell you something. What makes you think I'm interested in anything you have to say? Uh -huh. He just came to tell you you were right about me. Mm. That I don't help anyone but myself. Mm. There's been an accident in the caves. Come on, Michael G. Mm -hmm. You didn't come here to tell me about Jack, did you? My stash luck. Come here. Let me show you something. Uh oh. That's <laughs> stab him. That's a moth cocoon. This moth's just about to emerge. It's in there right now, struggling. It's digging its way through the thick hide of the cocoon. I could help it. Gently widen the opening, and the moth would be free. But it would be too weak to survive. Struggle is nature's way of strengthening it. Mm. Now, this is the second time you've asked me for your drugs back. Ask me again, and it's yours. Oh! I hear him! Jack, bro, you okay? I'm doing the demo. Oh. The demo. Oh. Hey, Ivercock. Watch for my flair, and it's your turn. I don't trust him. <laughs> Who does? I don't trust him with you. Oh! I can handle him. <laughs> I can't say. What, crawl through that? I think you need someone smaller. No, I expect to talk to them, and then we have a pleasure to go post up, so. We don't understand Chinese. <laughs> Korean, man. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> the Korean. I'll do it. <laughs> He's gonna take care of your son if something happens. Let me do this. Remember, I'll fire the flare, you set off the antenna. I just thank the good Lord I got you here to keep him on. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so what is it about that guy? What is it about him that makes you all weak in the loins? Try to be a pig or it's come naturally. I guarantee you if he had survived a few more weeks on this island, you'd have figured that out. What mm. did you just say? Mm. Ah, damn. Didn't I tell you? Word from the valley is St. Jack got himself buried in a cave. What? Look at the bright side. Now you have someone else to pity. Girl, you should left for post. Mm-hmm. Nope, I ain't gonna be able to make it. It's too small. I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. You don't need any more, dude. You already stumbling. Alright. I say after tonight and cancel the rest of the tour. What? We walk away. Are you off your head? We're walking away like we said we would if things Walk got... away and go where? Liam, you're killing yourself with this junk. You're destroying drive shaft. I am drive shaft. No one even knows who the Sonic bass player is. <gasps> if you're not in this band, what the bloody hell use are you? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Kate. Where is he? Where's Jack? Is he alive? I don't know. Charlie went myth with him that he does. But it collapsed. Why is nobody digging? One, two. Oh! 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 
Sorry, Jack. Sorry. Uh, you all right? My shoulder's dislocated. What? You got a Mel Gibson here. I know, right? No, I can't. I need your help on this, man. I can't do it, Jack. Yes, you can. Oh, Mel Gibson. Yes, you can. You can do it. Pull as hard as you possibly can. I don't, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't you could do this right now. Oh, oh. oh. Lee, what are you doing here? Well, I can't pay his big brother a visit once in a while. Of course you can. What oh, are you doing in Sydney? First gigs in Los Angeles. LA, Liam. Oh man, you're still using, aren't you? Oh, don't change the subject. That's why you haven't been returning my calls. Well, you're gonna go tell you get out. out, man. I lost your subject. You're still a me. junkie. You did this to me. It was about the music. I was just looking out for you. You never looked out for me. I have a plane to catch. Mm. Can help you through this. Wow. Yeah. He's a kind of useless and a junkie to do. Useless. Come you're on. Not useless. Uh, come on, Jack. It took a lot of guts getting in here and trying to rescue me. Mm-hmm. Tell him. Don't forget that. For the rest of our lives. What's wrong? Yeah. Is a moth? <laughs> oh, what? Right behind you, look, there's, there's, a, there's a bloody moth in there. This is the funny, this is one of the funniest ones. Where they dig and they come out the other way and be like, come around and be like, hey, what y'all doing? <laughs> We're over here! I can see light. <laughs> hey, it's a doctor! Duh! <laughs> Why y'all ain't dirtier? <laughs> they got cleaner.
his brother was hooked on drugs and his brother got clean and wanted to get him clean but he wasn't trying to have it um and even in the midst of that before he got hooked on drugs him and his brother had made a deal like if things went went crazy that they would just walk away and charlie felt he got to that point but the brother's like he wasn't having none of it um but yeah but um John Locke, man, like Shamanda said, <laughs> um, he, he just, uh, he's trying to help Charlie, you know, like, you know what, uh, I'm going to let you ask for the drugs three times, and the third time you ask me, I'm going to give them to you. But, you know, he was he was giving uh, Charlie encouragement and just uh, trying to talk to him uh, as far as referencing the moth as well, mm -hmm. uh, referencing the cocoon, and what was that phrase? Struggle is... <clears throat> struggle is nature's ways of strengthening there you go yeah so uh john Locke, man uh, did a good job of um doctoring him basically yeah. and speaking of doctors yeah. uh charlie and jack you know they got caved in um charlie got out uh jack was stuck uh man um they told everybody it was on the beach and you know a lot of people came back to help and um, Michael took over, man, because he had eight years of construction experience. And Walt was proud of him at that moment. He was like, look at him, man. He know you're talking about. He making moves out here. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I seen that more. I seen uh -huh. that. Yeah, it was like it was, just, it was like his body expression. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, they told Sawyer, <laughs> I think Hugo told Sawyer, and Sawyer was supposed to go tell Kate, and he didn't. Uh, he told her at the last minute when it slipped up because uh, he's jealous of her having feelings for Jack, pretty much. He said, give me some band-aids <laughs> and some peroxide and I'll be a doctor. Right, 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 right. right, right. Um, you, you got a lot of notes. What you got? I do. Are you done? Yeah, go ahead. You done? Mm -hmm. um, I actually want to rename this one. I know it's called The Moth, but I want to call it The Rock. Mm-hmm. Because everything was referenced. The word rock was said 85,000 times. I always say 85,000. Leoman is 85,000. Mm. Whatever, whatever. Um, when the episode started, it has been it had been eight days since the crash. Mm -hmm. um, 16 years that the transmission has been going through. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and of course, this is the backstory of just uh, Charlie and his brother Liam. But uh, Liam told Charlie he was a rock god. Mm -hmm. One reference. Um, and then Charlie says, I'm a bloody rock god right before the cave crumbles, basically. Um, I wanted to go a little further with that, but I got notes like everywhere according to this. Okay, so... <clears throat> so... Liam told Charlie, so most of Charlie's struggle was just basically wanting to be accepted mm -hmm. and wanting to find his purpose. So when they were on the stage and Charlie's responsibility, his role was for him to do the chorus por portion of the song. And Liam was taking over and he was like looking over and I'm like, this is the only thing that I have that I can say that I do for this particular song or for the band and you are basically taking over it and he was like hey he was like the crowd loved it this is what they were did you hear them they were screaming they loved it so I just went ahead and just went with the flow and Charlie was like no but that was my job that's what I was supposed to do so it's basically like he was just trying to find himself in the band and then when Liam told him if you're not in the band then what are you mm -hmm. And he went and sat down and looked at the drugs and everything. And that's probably was all she wrote from that point on. Because Liam said that he would not get out of the band after Charlie. They said that they were going to get out if it got too bad. Mm -hmm. He missed <clears throat> sound check and rehearsal. Mm -hmm. So he had no intentions of trying to uh, stop what he was doing. Because he was about to ruin <laughs> the image and style that he used was used to. to. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that was pretty much the end of that. So when um, uh, John Locke is crazy. Because he told Charlie, come out here. You need some air. The air will do you some good. 
but he was the bait for the boar. Mm -hmm. So he got out there and he started running. It's <clears throat> and it's a little thing that I always catch with Charlie that I do want to talk about. Mm -hmm. There's one thing that I do catch with Charlie every time he encounters something that he's insecure, he puts that hood on. Mm. When he's not insecure or when he's dealing with a life or death situation, he takes the cape off. Or he takes the hood off. When he was running from the boar, he literally took the cape, he the, the hood off. When he was going into the cave to get Jack, his hood was off. At the end, when he burnt his drugs and he looked up and seen the moth, he took the hood off. So I was like, these writers, even though some people may not catch that, but mm -hmm. it's the little things that I catch. And I've always said that about him because he would always put that that hood on right when he's getting ready to do something and he ain't got no business. Like, went further along when he was dealing with the whole uh, him and Ashtray situation. Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of, it's a lot of things with Charlie, but um, Hugo told Charlie he rocked and hugged him and almost cried. <laughs> um, Jack told Charlie that he was not useless. And then John Locke also told Charlie that he was proud of him and he knew he could do it. So it was just like reaffirmations of people around him versus Liam, which is the person that he wanted to be approval because he was the big brother. Mm -hmm. He wanted his approval, but now he seemed like he's getting more approval here with a bunch of strangers that I only met eight days ago. Right, right. All right, Shamali, good stuff. I love, 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 love Lost. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I really do. Um, I think that was um Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Saeed so told Kate that he didn't trust Ashtray with her. Mm -hmm. Um, he said, I don't trust him. And Kate was like, Yeah, I don't either. And he looked he said, <laughs> No, I don't trust him with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she said, mm. <laughs> like that. But um well, she hijacked it over. I mean, she hightailed it over there to get the jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they do did. look cute together. Mm -hmm. They really do. They really look cute together. That's mm -hmm. all I got. That's all yeah. I got. Okay, so right. love y'all. See y'all yeah. next time. Absolutely. Thanks again to our patrons. We love you. Oh, Jacko. Nickname was given to Ashtray. Okay. I mean, given by Ashtray for Jack. He said Jacko. And then he said Muhammad. 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 Mohammed. Mohammed. Mohammed for uh, Saeed. Mm -hmm. I wanted to catch on the nicknames because y'all said, what about the nicknames? I'm still going to call him Dimples for now, but I'm going to give him some more nicknames as we go along. But mm -hmm. Dimples and Ashtray is the nicknames that I have for Ashtray. For, look, Dimples and Ashtray is the nicknames that I have for Soria right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, wake up.